be that channel that makes tutorials all the time, I, I will not do that. I'm not the type of guy. I like to take my camera to go out and shoot. I already did several tutorials about the GH5 and I will keep doing that. But to be that channel that makes tutorials all the time, I'm not the type of guy. I like to take my camera to go out and shoot. But in the meantime, I can show you, you know, the most things you learn by watching. How expose and color grade VLOG in Final Cut Pro. I already showed you how I color grade Cine D because I was asked for to do that and I did it. In VLOG it's almost the same thing. This is the way I do it. I always use the zebras. So I always know I'm not overexposed in VLOG. And also, I'm using the in-camera lot, the REC 709 lot, original from Panasonic. I can see in the monitor how I'm exposed, but never go higher. It just doesn't look good if you see spots on the face where it's overexposed. Use the zebras. You can tell in the camera when you're overexposing something. This is because I know the camera very well. When I watch on the screen, when I watch the monitor, I already know, wow, that looks perfect. Nothing is overexposed. So you have to practice with the camera. You have to go walk with this camera, sleep with the camera, eat with the camera. It's beautiful. So when my wife watch movies, she looks a lot of series on Netflix. And sometimes I go there, I just watch for a minute thinking, mm, what lens are they using for this particular scene? Or how could I shoot this scene with my lenses? What lens should I use? 20 mm, 25 mm. How much is the shallow depth of field? How much blurriness is in the background? And I try to replicate the picture. Same thing for color grading. Just go first in the settings before you shoot. Set the white balance the way you want. You can create your look with the white balance. I already talked about that in all the videos. How I do that. Create the best look in camera already. I could easily shoot this with the standard picture profile. I'm just trying vlog now. I want to talk about this lens that I'm shooting with now. It is the 25mm f1.7. It is a very cheap lens, costs around $150. Once you have this lens, you can be very creative. I'm shooting in 1.7 aperture. You can shoot with this lens in low light. If you are in a small space, if you are in a small room, you can shoot movie-like scenes. 